see that that break, the sunshine trying to say hi. Well, I mean, and, and it's funny because there's, there's some areas that do see a little bit of sunshine right now, but there's there's others of you that are dealing with a little bit of light rain. Now, we haven't seen much of that around the city. This is a live look at the Indy Zoo uh, as it's quiet, a little breezy. You can kind of see some of those pinwheels spinning around. You're going to know sap today. That plus some cooler temperatures is going to make it a little more raw compared to where we've been the last couple of days. Uh, you can see on Storm Tracker, we're getting a little bit of activity right now. A lot of the action for much of the morning has been in eastern and southeastern Indiana, places like Richmond, Connorsville, Rushville, Greensburg. You have started the day off a little bit damp. Hasn't been real heavy rain, but it's been consistent at times. We also have some very, very light rain around the metro. This is in Madison County, Franklin, Elwood, starting to close in on Ellick. Anderson eventually lapel seeing some of these light showers that's moving eastbound even lighter still Peru Kokomo Tipton parts of Hamilton County and eastern Boone County maybe even creeping into the northwestern portions of Marion County here so far for this morning so the troublemaker here over the coming days is going to be this area of low pressure and it's bringing down a lot of cold air cold enough you can see the snow flying around Wisconsin Iowa Minnesota the Dakotas uh, that's going to be heading our way now the air is going to modify a little bit as this low gets a bit closer to us, but we could be cold enough, especially Friday and Saturday. We could be mixing in a few snow showers in with some rain. So we'll talk about that. Let's talk about today. A lot of the day dry. Now we do have some sprinkles around. Certainly think that's a possibility on and off through much of the day, but I think we get a lot of dry time. In fact, we'll probably get a decent amount of sunshine through say mid afternoon. Then the clouds build and by dinner time, you're going to notice some isolated showers starting to form. I don't think it's going to be widespread. I don't think it's going to be super heavy. The kiddos have practice outside. It's going to be chilly, much colder, about 10 degrees below average for this time of year. Uh, but a uh, lot of dry time and maybe just a little damp in spots. We'll continue that trend through the overnight. Now we'll stop this at daybreak tomorrow. You can see some more clusters of widespread rain and yeah, even a little bit of mix in there. We'll talk more about that in a second. But Friday, not a real fun day. 41 right now. Southwest wind at 15 miles per hour, low 40s statewide here. We're going to struggle to a high of 50. Some blustery winds make it feel even colder than that. But again, a lot of the daytime hours should be dry. If you're in northern Indiana, you don't even make it out of the 40s for the day today. I think we're even worse off for tomorrow. Everybody with highs in the mid 40s, the best that we can do. That's well below average as that low circulates and spins north of us into Michigan. You can see some of these spotty showers that are kind of rolling through. You can see maybe a little bit of a wintry mix that's going to be rolling on through as well. Now, it's not signaled on future casts there, and nothing will accumulate, that's for sure. We'll continue that as we head into Saturday as well with a little bit of a wintry mix early in the morning, both days. Very gloomy. Very raw as well. 46 on Saturday. However, we get through tomorrow, we get through Saturday, it gets a lot better. And in the beginning of a nice little warming stretch here, Sunday, dry, warmer, not real windy. We should hit highs in the lower 60s. Peterman Brothers Heating and Cooling, a day forecast. We're going to carry the 60s over into Monday with a chance of showers to open up the work and school week, and even better still by midweek. Tuesday, we're up to 70. Same thing Wednesday with some scattered showers and a few rain and storm chances this time next week. Thursday's highs in the upper 60s. Steph? All right, thanks, Mark. I say 21. Commuters that are out right now dealing with a crash on the city's south side. This is near I-465 at State Road 37 in Harding Street. This is heading westbound this morning. We have the center lane blocked off right now. You can tell that it is creating delays for those heading westbound. Also, eastbound lanes are a tad sluggish, too, so just be aware of that. Out on the city's south side this morning, several new crashes here popping up on the map. So very active to round out your Thursday morning drive. This one's causing havoc both east and westbound, dealing with slowing heading eastbound westbound lanes. We have I-465, the Center lane is blocked as you're approaching that Harding Street spot on our Tomwood Automotive Group traffic map. Hannah Avenue and Ferguson Road, that's just south of I-74, out on the city's southeast side. We have that crash there, not necessarily seeing a whole lot of issues with that one. And then downtown off of 28th and Gale Street, we have a vehicle fire there just north of I-70, out on the city's east side this morning. This is near I-70 at Harding Street, so southwest side commuters getting into downtown, no issues there. And our drive times from the east side seem to be fairly quick. Pendleton Pike from Accordsville to I-465 at a 15-minute drive. 70 from Greenfield into downtown at a 17-minute morning commute. And then 40 from Greenfield to I-465. You're just over a 20-minute drive. You're watching Wish TV, Indiana's only statewide TV news network.